Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. So currently in Barcelona, they're hosting Mobile World Congress, which each year big companies usually take part in to display a lot of new technology, new phones, new chipsets. Well, this year, Qualcomm, Samsung, Ookla are there. Last night, Samsung revealed the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus, really good looking phones and they support the Snapdragon 845 which supports 1.2 gigabits per second speeds and you know more advanced LTE technology and for T-Mobile of course Band 71. Now this speed test that you see here you might say oh why is this important this was probably done in the lab in a controlled environment well actually these two tests from what I was told are actually done in a real world setting. So on the left, there's an LTE Cat9, which is a older LTE chip doing 150 megabits per second at a latency of 57. On the right, we see a 5G millimeter waves being used doing 3022.6 megabits per second at a latency of two. So you're saying, well, you know, whoa, that is a big difference in speeds but why do we need speeds that fast? Well, right now there is really honestly nothing out to justify these type of speeds. Um, this will allow app developers to, of course, push their apps to the maximum. Also, as we get into the 4K fully, you know, right now, no TV is really doing 4K as far as live. We're still at 1080p. Of course, if you're streaming Netflix and stuff like that, you can stream at 4K. But once we get into the 5K, 6K, I think I've seen even 8K now, these speeds are going to be uh, really good as far as bandwidth. I think this will allow congestion to be completely over, um, in my opinion. Once you go to a bigger sporting event like a Super Bowl, there won't be as much needed as far as upgrades and stuff like that because these speeds will allow carriers to uh, maintenance the stadium add maybe a few more small cells and then it should be good to go but not spend millions of dollars as they do now just to keep speeds at a, a solid rate so definitely leave your comments in the comment section down below if you're looking forward to 5g um, if this is something that you've been looking forward to for a while now you are going to need a new device for this of course with the new chipset next year we're going to get the x24 for the lt advance and then the x50 for the 5g currently the x20 is the most advanced um, lt chip that's out there that will be in the s9 and s9 plus it's going to be very interesting to see the carriers catch up to that technology and then what the actual networks are going to be able to do right now the chipsets are outpacing the networks but eventually the networks will catch up and put out most of that technology so definitely stay tuned to the channel um, i will keep you guys up to date this week of if anything else comes out at mobile world congress and um definitely leave your comments in the comment section down below this is tyrone with tech life and i will see you guys in the next video peace